Mom! Taylor, undo whatever you just did. Ew, I can still see the drippy from where she took a sip. Turn it down for what? Answer your phone. It's just a spam call. This ringtone is the best decision that I ever made. You were never allowed to do that again. Someone could see. We're in the kitchen. Who is going to see? God, Santa, satellites, aliens, drones, Alexa. Don't be ashamed because your mom's got mad moves. I should jot this down for my future therapist. This feels like a significant moment. Turn it down for what? I can't. Taylor, let's go. Drop me off at a fire station. Hopefully a nice This Is Us family will pick me up. Mom, where are you? Mom! You are only allowed to scream like that if you are bleeding or the ice cream truck is on our street. So which is it? Taylor is a thief! What are you talking about? This! This crop top shirt she's wearing is actually my regularly cropped shirt. I'd let you leave the house in that? No, I wore a sweatshirt over it. I didn't want you to be upset so early in the morning. You're welcome. Ground her right now! Chill, Annika. We're sisters. Sisters share clothes. We do not share clothes. You steal my clothes and stretch them out with... Things I don't have yet. You're letting her just get away? I demand justice! Just because Taylor is bigger than you doesn't mean you can't stand up for yourself. But can't you just... No! You've got to stop seeing yourself as a powerless little girl. You are a strong, independent young woman who is fully capable of fighting her own battles. You're right. Like Charlize Theron, that movie you definitely should not have shown me. Monster. I thought it was a monster movie. Ah! Or ice cream truck, which is it? This is my favorite shirt and it's been cut in half. And I can't! So, did you do this to my shirt? I sure did. Since you had to wear my shirt as a crop top, I decided to just give you one of your own. And I will do so every time you wear one of my shirts. Got it? I'm never touching her clothes again, you little psycho. Mom! And a cat? I want to talk to you in the hall. Now. And a cat, you can never do that again. That was brilliant. Destroy property is not okay. Never proud her. You're in huge trouble. I could cry right now. <laughs> Anna Cat, we don't need our snacks for another hour. Sucks for you guys. Have you tried talking to her? Of course. We even brought up the prospect of silent lunch. But she said she's a powerful woman who will not let her voice be stifled. Kind of hard to argue with that, seeing as I'm a cisgender straight man marinating in white privilege. The district had me take an online seminar, so I'm both woke and duly chastened. I know what's going on. I taught Anna Cat a lesson about standing up for herself and it may have gotten a little out of hand. I'll take care of it. Thanks. We cool? No, we not cool. Look, I'm proud of you for standing up for what you want, but you have to obey the rules. Nah, I'm done letting people walk all over me. Well, I'm your mother and you have to listen to what I say. Just because you're bigger than me doesn't mean I can't stand up to you. <laughs> No, no, no. We're not playing that game. Do as I say or no more bedtime tuck-ins. That's fine. I'll put myself to bed. Okay, you're grounded. Watch me as I clear my social calendar. Boop, boop, beep. All done. See you at home. No more Taco Tuesday! Bored with it!